I know you guys are so excited that the vlogs are back and more than that I'm more excited like I love doing this this is what I love doing I had so much fun with it and uh, you know college you know I got here it's taking me a minute to adjust I just kind of fell off of it and that sucks but you know I'm back I'm back at it I'm gonna get back and enjoy it the summer's gonna be so much fun I know you guys are gonna see a lot of cool footage I'm gonna travel I'm gonna collab with a lot of people uh, I'm gonna do tons of stuff so like stay tuned if you guys haven't turned on push notifications um, it's actually by the subscribe button there's a little bell make sure you click that bell so it sends you like notifications when I post videos but rather than that let's go ahead and get this day started so I'm starting off with this right here because I'm, I'm sure you guys saw it in the background you're wondering what is this well I gotta make a relic all right and this is for class and my concept is like all right so <laughs> this is like weird to look at this is so weird but uh this is what the teacher likes he likes all this weird crap and i like i literally have to make weird stuff for him to grade me good so this is what i'm doing so my concept's fishing but i picked one reason why like i love fishing and it's because of the outdoors like the environment like i could have said yeah i have a couple businesses in fishing and uh you know i film and all that stuff but i wanted to base it around you know outdoors nature so i actually went to the store bought this little glass and some moss and crap like that i actually gluing it all around the glass so i had this glued all around the glass and see the concept can't be clear like the people actually have to figure it out so once this is all glued with moss I'm gonna fill the inside with moss, and in the middle, this is like the idea that the teacher gave me, that's why I'm using it. In the middle, there's gonna be a heart, all right? There's gonna be a heart with a hook through it. So it's not like clear, like, is day, like what it means, but you know, they can guess upon it. So that's gonna be laying in the middle. On this rope, I'm probably gonna attach maybe a few hooks or a few fishing lures, nothing like too crazy to where they're gonna guess it right away. But overall, I mean, this thing looking pretty crazy. I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest like what is this school brought like it's just crazy so I actually have uh, alright so I'm trying to get four, a 4.0 again I'm trying to get straight A's again I have a 93 and a 95 and uh, two of my classes this class I have an 89 and uh, this teacher grades so hard I'm talking like great like I, I've done so much like so many projects like where they're like really good or at least I thought they were amazing I'm sure you guys would too but, like from his standpoint like he counts off just on stupid stuff so like I have two more grades um, and this is like my final project so hopefully I'll get an A on it and boost my grade up to an A so I get a 4.0 this project right here is actually the project that he gave me an 80 on he gave me an 80 on this project and I, I put literally so many hours in this thing and I just don't get it it's just really stupid like I mean I put some time into this like this is out of clay and then I painted it and then I did all this detail and I did all this stuff and then he just gives me an 80 on it so I'm like whatever this is actually something that I made for my other class that I've done these in. And uh, it was for a midterm. I had to make this in 15 minutes. So I started from scratch, added like a background with smoke, added a background with fire, added this moon, put in the text, and added the future, the rapper, and a little parental advice. Like this is like supposed to be like a mixtape cover. I made that in like 15 minutes for uh, our final. It's pretty cool. Or not our final, our midterm. Instead of like a total like traveling vlog, not traveling, but like moving around, like driving everywhere, doing that type of stuff, I'm mostly gonna like base this vlog off like in the apartment. Just is just kind of like an update vlog on like what I'm going through the next couple of days, what I'm doing. Um, just explaining, showing you guys like what, I, what I'm doing for school, showing you guys the projects that I'm working on. I'm sure you got some upcoming videos that you guys probably haven't seen, so maybe you get some sneak peeks. Um, just some cool stuff that I'm doing. I'm gonna show you one thing, uh, my final for my other class I'm making right now. So this is for the class that I made all those other projects for. This is actually a personal branding website that I gotta make. So I'm like, oh, the, whatever. Like, I'm just making a kick in their best website. So I haven't added all the sponsors yet, but I'm working on this page. Uh, I got portfolio. That's stuff that I worked on in this person's class. I have a contacts tab. I got an about. Oh, hold on. Hold on, this is better. Let me let me do this real quick. What do I need to do? Click on this, hit preview. 
All right, so this is my home page. So it's got this cool picture of my truck and boat. I was actually at Winyard Bay. Uh, got some featured content right here. Got some pictures, um, stuff like that. That's just on the home page when you're brought to the website. You go to about whole thing wrote up about me, like about kicking their bass TV, what I do. Um, image right there. Also have sponsors listed on the right hand side to get a lot of publicity. Uh, you know, if my teacher asks, so why is there two sponsor tabs? Well, you know, they do a lot for me, and so I'm going to do a lot for them, and, like, she really can't count off on that. But, uh, add all that, portfolio, ugh, portfolio is going to be, like, I haven't done this yet. The stuff I've done in class, like, all those projects I'll put up on here, then contact, uh, my contact information on here. But this is another project I'm working on. It's pretty cool. I also have to create, like, a business card, uh, as well for this teacher, and um, do some other things. Look at that sick picture. You know guys, like, the main reason I really want to film this and I really want to make this video is just, just to show reality. Like, you know, too many people just think, and I, I was one of them, that, you know, there's too much going on. You say you can't do it, but you can really do it. And you can prove to yourself that you can actually do it. You know, too many people say, oh, I'll do it, you know, or I can't do that right now, I'm too busy. You're not too busy. Just Let's, let's think of it. Like, you're, you're saying you're too busy, but you're not really that busy. Like, you may be busy. You're, you're working, you know, 14 hours a day, but that's not busy. I mean, you still got 10 more hours. Like, think about it, you know. Of course, you're going to get probably six of sleep. You got four more hours. Don't tell me you can't, like, use another one of those hours to... You know, work harder, use one of those hours to, you know, get in the gym, or use one of those hours to put forth more effort into your project, or use one of those hours to go fish and film. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's just to prove to you guys that you guys can do it too. Like, I'm a busy person, and I'm not kidding you guys, like, I don't get any free time, and I really don't, I, I get zero free time. And it's because I want to win so bad, you know. I want to win at everything I'm doing. I want to win when I get my grades, I want to win fishing, I want to win with my business, I want to win having fun with it. I'm like everything with my business and everything, I'm having so much fun, but more than that is I'm growing it and it's just not a better feeling. I'm having fun growing, I'm, fun, I'm, I'm having fun watching the process of it growing and like that's just what I love. You might, you guys might like something different, you know, uh, but what I love is I love winning and love just watching myself progress, watching my business progress, watching the process and being patient with it. That's all it is, but putting in the work. I like have number one tip for like, People like, all right, I could probably fade the topic for this video towards this right here. Like the main topic, if I could say one thing, people for tips on their YouTube channel, people are like wondering, they're asking me, they're like, how should I grow my YouTube channel? How should I grow my fishing business? How should I grow my Instagram page? How should I grow this? Well, it's like, you put in the work. <laughs> you, there's nothing as plain as that seems, but from you starting from the bottom, like, right here because we all started here you know we all started on the bottom from you say you just created a YouTube channel Instagram how do you get traffic and attention towards you you post crap you you just post it all right you put in the work you, you you keep grinding you keep doing it the only thing that that I could say to be honest I want to say I want to keep this so simple because once you guys get this in your head and that's how your mindset thinks there's no one that's gonna stop you that's why I'm like preaching this right now but like you guys are asking for tips on your YouTube, how to grow it, how to do this, how to do that, how to do that. My biggest tip is to put in the work. If you seriously put in, think about this, think about this. If you put 15 hours a day into your YouTube or into your business or into your Instagram, whatever it is, if you put 15 hours a day, I'm not saying you have to do this, you can put two hours a day. But let's just let's just say 15 hours. Say you put 15 hours of your day and time, say you're off, off, you don't have school during the summer, you know, say you don't have a job, you just want to do this YouTube thing, you want to go out and have fun. 15 hours a day, you have 15 hours. You put 15 hours a day into that YouTube, how many hours is that a week? That's 105 hours a week that you will put into your business. Think about that, 105 hours. You know what you can do in 105 hours? Do you understand what you can do? I'm not talking about 50 hours. Like if you have, if you're available to do 14 hours and you're willing to put in the work because you want to win that bad, there's no reason for you to have 55 hours. Put in 100, 105 hours and just go kill it. I'm talking just content, 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 
post, 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 business ideas, writing stuff down, getting work done, talking to people, uh, you know, I have this idea, da, da, da. oh, let's go fishing, um, let's go film a video, um, this idea, you know, let's, let's promote this product for this company, just, just 15 hours a day or two hours a day or 30 minutes a day, either way it's going to add up, but just put it this way, you put in the work, you're going to, you're going to get the goals out of it, you're going to get your goals that you're trying to achieve, which honestly, you're never going to have a goal for something like this, I'm just saying, it's just kind of like, you know, you get bigger and then you want to get bigger and then you want to get bigger, but you're going to achieve your dreams, you know, if you put in the work, you, I promise you, everything that comes back, it's just everything in life, this, uh, this isn't even about YouTube, it's like, just everyday life, you know, just, it's crazy, <laughs> but you put in the work, and you keep grinding, it's going to come, it, that, that doesn't mean it's going to come overnight, that doesn't mean like, you put, I, hey, no, I put 105 hours into my business or into my YouTube this week. You know, why isn't it blowing up? Oh, dude, it's going to probably take you some years. But you got to be willing to put in that time. And I tell you, it's going to come quicker if you just keep grinding. Say you, say you like slack off, say you post one video a month instead of when you could post four a month. You know, think about that. That's four times, that's four more times of a chance for you to get bigger. See what I'm saying? It's like, Content, 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 work, 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 and then you'll achieve it. All you guys, small YouTubers, uh, small businesses, small Instagram pages that are trying to get big in the fishing industry, that's my biggest tip. Is just put in the work. Keep grinding. Keep posting. Keep doing what you're doing. If you know you're doing the right thing, you're doing something right. I'm telling you, if you really deep down in your heart know what you're doing, then you're doing something right. Just keep on doing what you're doing, and it's going to come. It's just going to be patience. You just got to wait. It's got to wait. But just keep grinding. Patience. Those are the two words right there. Patience. Keep grinding. Overall, guys, I just kind of want to update you guys on this video. It's a little update video. Overall, guys, you know, the vlogs are back. I'm going to be vlogging a lot more. Uh, this I wouldn't even consider this really a vlog, but, you know, I'm going to be posting tons of vlogs. Go check out my playlist. Um, I have a Fishing for River Monsters playlist, and I have um, a vlog playlist. You can go check them out. This summer's going to be amazing, guys. Summer's going to be pumped. It's going to, ooh, it's going to be crazy. Tons of videos, tons of content, tons of collaboration videos. It's just going to be crazy, so just, gosh, oh, just stay tuned for it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. YouTube's finally starting to pick up. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.